Can you can you guys do impressions of each other's character? Um, <laughs> Come on, Sims. I know you Don't want to. me off, man. Oh, no, you better that's not. <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's your boy Illwell. You're checking out Enemy. I'm joined today by Lil Sims, Michael Ward, and we're talking Top Boy. What's going on? Hello. When when people uh, when I talk to people about Top Boy mm. who have never heard of it, which I don't know who hasn't heard of it at this point, I tell them that it's like my description is like it's a UK version of The Wire. Mm. Like, what would you guys say about that? Like, when your parents when you had to dis tell them about the show when you got the roles, how did you describe it? I, I just told my mum, watch it. It's on Netflix. You, know, you have to watch one and two now. Yeah. Um, by the time it comes to my one. But it's a quick watch, so. Yeah. 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 But it is, mama, I understand what you say about the UK the, version. Well, you, the yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. I mean, my mum and my family were hip to it and knew, like. Yeah. Yeah. And then obviously, you guys obviously watched it before getting involved in it. What were like some of your favourite characters and scenes before you came into the show? Uh, for me, yeah, Sully um, is. Def obviously the Shane and Sully in it, like their relationship, everything about that. Mm -hmm. um, I love that relationship. Yeah, and the, how they sure. differ and stuff like that. That's what made it so, so good, really. And that chemistry. Yeah, yeah. The chemistry on screen is yeah. it's amazing to see. And sure. is it the same when you're in it, seeing those two working together? That like, for me, I didn't really have I know, much. Yeah, yeah, I never had any scenes with them two together. Right. Yeah. So. But I'd seen, I'd obviously seen them on set together at one point, and yeah, it just looks when you're seeing it. And you've watched it as a fan, and now you're with them. But I'm against them in the show, so it's like, oh, this is mad. They're plotting against me. Yeah. <laughs> I crazy. like you, but I don't like you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. So, like, when you guys saw yourselves for the first time, when you, like, I guess you saw it before all of us get to see it, you sat there and watched an episode and you're on it. What, mm. what was going through your head, like, rah? Yeah, I guess, well, for me, I'm super critical of, my, of myself, and like, I'm like, ah. Oh. Like, before I had seen it, like, God, just please let this be okay. <laughs> let, let my performance come through. Um, but I was, I felt proud of myself and felt like, yeah, yeah like, yeah, you done your yeah. thing. So in the show, there's obviously a lot of musicians that are in it. Mm. When you were on set, first of all, what were you listening to? And secondly, was there loads of fights over the aux chord? <laughs> oh man, mm. I want to hear these stories because yeah, I, because yeah, I, yeah. I, I know Kano probably wanted to hear a lot. I don't have any scenes of okay, Kane personally, yeah. so I don't know. It's not like how you think, because obviously when you're watching it, you're, you're seeing Kano and them lot. Like, for me, as a fan, when I'm actually watching it back, obviously I only know about my scenes and all yeah. of that. So when I'm watching back, I'm seeing it, I'm actually watching the story now. Mm. But like on my days on set, I was listening to a lot of Heady, a lot of Heady yeah. 1 and a lot of like, um, the OFB lot. Um, yeah, man, it was just, that, that's mainly what I was listening to. And when I was on set, I mainly took control of... Um, the Orcs. What about you, Sims? What were you listening to? Um, do you know what? I kind of was just had my headphones in, just like it, 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 on set. I didn't really listen to music as much, but in when I'd be getting my makeup done or whatever, I just had my headphones in, just trying to get into Shelley. Off in your own, yeah. Mm -hmm. I hear that. So, Michael, you play Jamie, who's like an arch rival of Sully. Arch rival. An arch rival. <laughs> um, when you when you were preparing for the role, did you watch? Any other villains in movies or TV and take, so you know, sick. or actors like Jamie's not a villain though. No, bro. <laughs> because he's not a villain. <laughs> what is he then? He's like, he's a person. Like he's a person that's trying to be in the same position that they want to be. So obviously, to be honest, I didn't watch villains. I watched leading men roles that want to take over. Like so, I watched Denzel Tommy Training Day. Yes, um, Tommy Shelby and um, Peaky Blinders, mm -hmm. Ghost in Power. Yeah, man, it's the, those were the kind of stuff that I was watching. I wasn't really watching, like, villains going up against things. But even in, um, actually, Peaky Blanders, in, like, season three, when the Italian guy comes in and he was going up against Tommy Shelby, that scene, for me, was like, yeah, this is how I kind of want it to be when I buck, um, when, I, yeah, when I see the Shane in the show. Because it was just so, like, when I'd actually seen that, it was so crazy. It's kind of like the um, scene from um, Heat as well. Drake's involvement, obviously everybody knows about it because it was everywhere. Did you guys ever have have to talk to him about the show, about the role, anything like that? Um, no, nah, not really. He came down to the, um, to the read first read-through that we initially <coughs> had read. So when everything was confirmed, everything was done. Everyone was cast. Yeah, everyone was cast. All the lead, was, um, lead cast was done. He came to the first read-through, made an appearance, spoke, 
And yeah, that was mad motivating for us, like, mm. um, and a lot of the kids as well, and even a lot of the olders. But what was weird for me is I saw him less than 24 hours ago at Wireless. You know what I'm trying to say? So yeah. I'm there at Wireless, he's come and headlined, they even brought out Dave, and then less than 24 hours later, I'm, I'm chatting to Dave, and then Jake's walking. It was mm -hmm. mad. It was like, this whole process for me has been surreal. Like, you couldn't even write it. Did, did you ever think that this was going to come for you? Did you always have this, like, you know what? I'm gonna make it and I'm gonna do shows like this. Um, no, I've not always wanted to be an actor, so. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I feel like. When, what do you wanna be? A footballer, innit? <laughs> like, a lot of people when we're younger, well, I feel like I say a lot of people, and now I'm speaking to more and more people, it's not like that, but in my circle, everyone wanted to be a baller. Even mm. like everywhere I go, it's like everyone wanted to be a footballer, so yeah, I just kind of, I was kind of the first one that realised, nah, this ain't. This ain't even what I want to do. I didn't even really enjoy football like that. I just enjoyed matches and competition. So then I started looking for a different way. Started with modelling and then, mm. yeah. You, you mentioned Drake coming in a room. Was Future the Prince there and yeah. also... Mm. Have, have you had a meeting with Maverick Carter? No. Mm -mm. When I saw his name on the press release, I was like, oh, yeah, LeBron's right-hand guy is working on Top Boy. Mm -hmm. LeBron as well, don't think, like, yeah. LeBron's involved as well. Well, his there. name isn't in the press release. Yeah. Oh, cool. LeBron's <laughs> a silent partner. Yeah. Spring Hill Entertainment, yeah. which oh. is, yes. LeBron's oh. is involved in it. So mm. that's the main thing for us. Having these big names that are taking over, that, that have taken over fields um, of entertainment and stuff, it's just having them back you, you it's mad motivational. You know what's funny? I, I, one of the questions I wanted to ask is, in these junket setups and these interviews before movies, journalists always ask, so tell me about what's going to happen. And it's like, no, nah, you're going to watch, watch it. it. <laughs> so, do, so do you know what I want you to do? I want you to make up a line. I want you to make up a storyline for me of what's yeah, going to happen. This is what I've done yesterday, actually. But here, here what, though? Come on in. So in Top Boy, obviously, um, me, me and Deshane, we, we, we link up and and we become best pals and it's a fairy tale ending. <laughs> Is that it? What do you do? Do you like go to the chip shop together or? Yeah, we play go football chip in the shop. park. Yeah, she comes to meet my posts. brothers. He even takes them out while I'm away. Right. Yeah, man, it's, it's actually. Hey, takes them out or takes them out? Oh, he takes them out, out. As in to the fun fair, to the theme park. Right. <laughs> Stepping away from that, uh, Black Britain's obviously have been having a moment for a long time, which you know is such a beautiful thing, and I love seeing it from Stormzy going all the way back to when um, Dizzy won the Mercury Prize back in 2003. I think that was. It's been this upward trajectory, and Top Boy has played such a big role in that because when they announced this season, the world went mad. Crazy. Like, do you guys understand the importance of what you're involved in right now? I feel like every, more and more every day mm. I understand. It's that. Obviously, I got the role last year, mm -hmm. so and it's been something I can't tell anyone. So in this last year, I've been working out. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've just been. Those are the kind of things that've been going through my head. How big is this actually gonna be and stuff like that? How important is this? And then you realize there's nothing else like Top Boy. Like even like for the last six years, there's not. Well, when Top Boy first came about, it was the first thing of its kind, and then when it's gone away, there's still nothing like it. And now it's back. It's the only thing like it of its kind. It's the only TV show that tells our story from the UK. Mm. So it is very important. And this is the first time people internationally are going to see what the UK is actually like. Because I remember a couple months ago, I went, what, New York, and they were all taking the piss out of the way I was speaking because they were like, they've never seen a black guy speak like that. I was like, cool. Well, in, <laughs> in a couple months time, you're going to see, you're going to see a lot of us speaking like that, actually. But what do you think it is that people love so much about Top Boy? I just think that, you know, touching on what Michael said, like, it's just authentic and it rings yeah. true to everything that's happening today in our culture and our world. And it's not, you know, nothing's being glorified, nothing's being glamorised. It's like real stories and um, real experiences, I guess. And if you could, this is going to be fun, if you could switch roles with someone else in the show for one episode, who would it be and why? Mm. I'm, really, I'm trying to figure whether it's going to be the Shane or Sully, obviously. Um, but I'll, I think Sully, I think yeah. I'd, I'd like to switch with Sully because he's the more... The Shane thinks too much. The, Sully just acts off impact it's, it's a lot. impulsive. Do you, can, yeah. do you think you can spit like Kane, though? No, I wish <laughs> I could, though. <laughs> I wish I could. Sims? Um, I'm actually all right with Shelley. With you guys being in this now, where do you see everything going for you two personally now? Because, you know, you look at season one, you look at Letitia Wright, mm. and she's in Black Panther. Like, have you guys got your eyes firmly set on where you want to go? Is this yeah. like realigned your focus more than ever? For yeah. sure, definitely. It's just like giving us more fire in our belly to like 
want to do better, want to <clears throat> be a part of more projects. and um, But also, I want to enjoy this and be in the moment. Because a lot of the time, like I think doing what we do is very much do the job and then on to the next. Mm. And then, you know, but I think I'm just learning to like be present in this and like enjoy it and be here. Can you, can you guys do impressions of each other's character? Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, come on. Um, come on, Sims, I know you want to. Don't me off, man. Oh, that's, that's, better not. <laughs> Come on, Michael, you go first, because I know you're dying. No, let me go. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was the line? You're here to get mine. <laughs> was that it? That was not it. Uh, no, that was it. That was that's it. That's how was you it. delivered yeah, the no, line. That was it. That was you're it. You just mugged her off. To no, get that was mine. it. All right, that was it. Um, Classic. Um, the shame. <laughs> the shame, Tish. <laughs> has a swimming competition this afternoon and um, I don't know, I, I, I'm wondering if you could come. <laughs> On that note, Michael, Sims, thank you. Thank, thank you. Sims, always a pleasure, thank sis. You, thank you.